Hi there. We are going to be working on non-standard measurement again. Remember, this is called a ruler. We use this a lot in the classroom to measure things. Maybe you might measure your scissors. And when you measure with a ruler, you have to make sure. I'm going to do it this way. It might be easier for me. You have to start at the very edge of the object. Because if you're going to measure like this, that's not gonna get an accurate measurement. So I'm gonna go all the way to the edge of the scissors the best I can. And then I'm gonna look and see. Oh, I can see that my scissors is about eight inches long. Not tall, but long. Measures the length. We also have the tape measure. You use a tape measure to measure things that are larger or longer than a foot. A lot of carpenters have tape measures, but tape measures are the same measurement. They have the same numbers as a ruler. I'm going to show you. Here's a ruler. Here's my tape measure. If I put my tape measure out with my ruler, I'm going to go all the way to the end and on my tape measure it's 12 12 inches on my ruler it's also 12 inches the measurements is the same but with a ruler you can't go as long as you can with a tape measure that's why carpenters keep a tape measure on their tool tool belt today you need this packet and you'll need a pencil and your crayons and you need your cubes. I hope you know where they are. You'll need 10 of them because measuring with cubes is non-standard. Just like when we measured with those flowers. This is a non-standard measurement. If I wanted to measure a crayon, put this crayon down. I'm going to line my cubes up. Remember, I can't do this. I have to line it up at the edge. And then I'm going to count about how many cubes. Can I? One, two, three, four, five. So today, you're going to spend some time around your house. This is so fun that you get to do this around your house because you're going to be looking for things to measure. But they have to be less than 10 cubes long. We're not measuring tall right now. We're doing the length. Let's see. Do you think a ruler is 10 cubes or less? I don't think so because there's extra. So the things you measure around your house are going to have to be 10. You're going to get to practice first by finding this packet that talks about measurement you're going to write your name at the top and you're going to take your 10 cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you're going to measure the pencil that they gave you. And these are actual things that we took pictures of. So here it is. Ah, oh, look at that. I don't even think I have to count it. How many cubes long is that pencil? It is 10. Then you're going to go to the crayon. Here's the nice thing about with cubes. You can actually break it apart because I can see that it is less than 10. So I'm going to look here. Oh, I feel like I have it measured right at the edge, but I think there's some extra. So I'm maybe going to take off two. Oh. I think I need to add another. What about you? Because I see some extra crayon. So I'm going to put that on there. Oh, it looks great. One, two, three, four, five. And it says the crayon is about five cubes long, not inches. It's one cube. 
Then you're going to do the same to the marker that we gave you and the paper clip. But you're not done. Of course you're not done. You are going to open it up. And then on the back, there are three more spots. So don't pick a crayon or a marker or a paper clip or the pencil. Pick something different. That's the fun of being in your house. So stay right here. I just had a really good idea of something I want to measure. The camera is going to be looking right at this while I grab that really quickly. I am going to measure what we're going to have for dinner today. A red potato. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it. It's red. Got some darker spots on it. Then I'm going to write the word potato. I'm going to do the phonetic spelling. P, the, p, p, uh. P, uh, t, 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 t. A. Potato. What do we hear at the end? Oh. And it says the potato or this, sorry, this potato is about blank cubes. So now I'm going to measure it. I can already see that I get to take off a lot of my cubes. Hmm. can take off another one. I'm going to put it in the front for you. Maybe I'm going to try to take one more off. And then we're going to see, oh, I think that's too short for my cubes. So I'm going to add another. And that actually looks pretty good. So the this potato is one, two, three cubes long. That was fun. Then I'm going to go looking around the room and I'm going to find some more things. I need two more. You're going to draw it, write it, and answer how many cubes it is. Draw the next object, write it phonetically with your pencil, and write how many cubes. When you show the video or the picture to your teacher, Make sure that you're holding your paper still so she can see the front and especially the back because we want to see your drawing, your sounds, and we want to see your measurement. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.